Hey guys, I'm Brooker. This is Let's Play Shantae. We are in Twinkle Palace, and check this out. I just thought more evidence that that genie is really risky boots. Look at this. It doesn't show me a picture of the genie friend. It shows me a picture of a little pirate guy, one of the little tinker bats, one of uh, risky boots' little guys. So yeah, if it was really my friend, wouldn't it show me a picture of her face? Although I guess it shows me Mimic and Sky, even though they're liars. So. Okay, where have I not gone yet? I came up here. So I must not have been down here. I didn't go I can't go down, but I can go right. And I'm gonna find a locked door over here somewhere. Oh, that's a slide. I'm gonna stay away from that. Is it a slide? Yes it is. What is that thing? Whoa! It's a little, like, warp cannon thing. Haha, uh -huh, and if I push attack, it lets me out. Alright, well, let's try up. Okay. I guess we have to go right. Right it is. Up. Down. Down. Oh, I knew that was going to be a bad idea. Well, let's explore the very bottom of this room, because chances are, if you miss your jump or cannon thing or whatever, it's going to drop you to the bottom, so that's where I want to explore first. I do have a door. I do... Ooh, that looks like a secret passage. Does it not? How come it's not letting me in? I don't need you anyway, brother. I need... I got monkey form. I've got old monkey Tay here with the monkey claw. That's right. Oh, yeah. Warp squid. <laughs> there should be five in here. That was the first one. There was five in uh, Dribble Fountain, and there's five in the Golem Mine because there was one that I could not get. And hey, how come I can't jump into those anymore? It's not letting me back in there, guys. And the door to the room is now locked. Okay, well, let's check out this direction. Eh, yeah, little ice cube guy. Did I find five in the Cackle Mound? I can't remember. I know I got four of them in there. Oh, you know what? I must have found five, because I had one coming in here. So I must have got five in the Cackle Mound. I'm not going to hit those spikes, because I'm a smart man. I'll go above the spikes. So I should have all of them from the Cackle Mound. If I get... Okay, let's see. Three more in here is five. Plus... No, I must have missed one in the Cackle Mound, because I need eight total. That's right, I went back to the Dribble Fountain and got the one. That's where I got my extra one from. So if there's one in the Cackle Mound, one in the Golem Mine, that brings me up to four, and there's four more in here, bringing me up to eight. So I can drop four of those off at Watertown to warp, and I can drop four of them off at... Monster Town to warp there. And then I will have all the warp points. Sweet. I love one-ups. Another one of these rooms. I hope this, this isn't like a puzzle if I'm if you have to kill a certain monster. Let's see, I killed one rock guy. And I killed one fish guy. Let's kill the succubus. Let's kill the, uh, the naked demon lady. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. There we go. I'm gonna elephant you to death, woman. Come on down. Oh, I love the elephant form. It's very powerful. I didn't... There, uh, there should be an attack power for the spider. I haven't gotten that. But there's some places on the overworld that I haven't checked out yet either. So this is gonna make a little octopus man. You know, these... Like, jigsaw puzzles are not very challenging, unfortunately. I found a key! The golem mine puzzles were very cool. The, we had to change certain colors, and it like mag involved magnetic polarity. Those little holes are probably death. So I'm going to do everything in my power to not go down those little holes. My power sucks. My power was... Ugh. Do you guys believe that mess? Do you believe two lives in how many seconds? That was disgusting. 
That was absolutely ludicrous that I just lost two lives in ten seconds. And I hit this stupid ball like eight times. I was in a good mood. Now I'm not anymore. I'm not in I've got two more lives to spend in here. It says one, but that means two, because zero counts to life. It does. Okay, so there was a door over here. Let's go in the door over here. Oh, garbage. That thing worked now. I guess you only get to use it a certain amount of times per room, maybe? Who knows? I'm gonna twirl kick this guy, that's what I'm doing. I should have actually... That was probably dangerous. If there were spikes or something over there, I would have been killed, and then you'd have to listen to me cry some more. Let's scout the area. No spikes. Okay. We're safe. Got a passage up there and a door over here. Let's do this door. Spikes. Which means I've got iron balls coming down. Lots of iron balls. I've got a little nook over here that I can hide in. Sweet. What's this platform good for, I wonder? Nothing that I know of yet. I've got what's this? Ice block in midair, locked door, a slide. Before going down the slide, since that's a one-way trip, I'm gonna climb up the wall. And I'm oh crap, spikes. Oh crap! It didn't let me in. Okay, there's a trick to those things. I don't know what it is, but there's a there must be a trick to those. Let's just no. Let's, um. That's why that ice block is there, to stop you when you shoot through the room. Oh, goodness gracious me. <laughs> okay. I'm on my last life. I'm gonna throw caution to the wind, and... Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Hey, cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's so good. Oh, good. Oh my goodness, that's amazing, you guys. Two one-ups in as many minutes? Okay, here's the trick. Can I get over to this one? Do I have to get over to this one? I'm not really sure what I need to be doing in this room. That one-up, I guess, only one activates in time, maybe? Gotta get a certain one? Hmm. A little mystifying, but that's okay. Oh no, no, I don't want to be there. Do I? No, I haven't been through this room yet, but I don't want to get crushed with that ball, so I'll crouch into the nook. This room looks familiar. Have I been in here before? I can't have been here before, because the jars would not be broken. Oh no. These jumps are a little tricky. I guess I could be using monkey form to make them a little easier, but... Hey, there's a key. Sweet. Okay, what monster got to make this time? I don't recognize this monster. Let's see, is it gonna make another octopus? That's what it might be looking like here. Yeah. Like a winged octopus creature looking thing. All those little tiny monsters kind of look the same. But hey, as long as he coughs up a key, he could look like Richard Simmons for all I care. That's right, the Richard Simmons Shantae puzzle coming to a Game Boy Color near you. It's, uh... There we go. It's a uh, monkey dance into the oldies is what it's called. This looks suspicious. Does it not? Warp squid. Duh. Okay, so now I've got three warp squids. That's that's cool. I dig warp squids. 
and a little, a little secret passage here. Where's it go? I wonder. That's that's where it went. Okay, so I had a secret passage on the other side of this room that curves around the warp squid. On the next episode of Let's Play Shantae, we're gonna jump in this little warp nugget here. Here's my black screen, and see where it leads. Don't miss the next episode of The Twinkle Palace.